Welcome to Science with Sarah. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have you ever wondered how a thunderstorm forms? Well, a lot of times it's due to what's called convection or the transfer of heat. Now we have an explainer for you, plus a fun experiment that you can do with the kiddos. We're going to make a thunderstorm rocket out of a tea bag. So let's get into it. Now it all comes down to the difference between hot and cold air. Hot air rises because it is cooler or I should say less heavy than cool air and that's why you get that difference. Now a lot of this happens in a tea kettle. You can see a good example of it here. As you put the tea kettle on the stove, the bottom of it is going to start to get hot fast, which means that the bottom layer of the water is going to heat up first. And what did we just learn about hot air or hot water? It rises. So that's going to go to the top of the tea kettle. And because it's rising, that creates a space for the cooler water or sometimes cooler air in the atmosphere to come and take its place. So you get this cycle of rising warm water and falling cool water. And that's what's going to create a convective current. This is also seen in the atmosphere and during the air. This is how a thunderstorm can often form. So you have the sun rays coming down that helps to warm the ground up. And of course the ground does continue to warm as we get into the afternoon. And that's going to create a little warm layer right along the surface. And what do we know about warm air or warm water? Well, we just learned it likes to rise and that's going to continue to uplift from the ground into the sky. And as it most goes up, it's going to get rid of some of the humidity. And that's when we start to see some clouds form. Now, if you have enough of this updraft and that flow from the ground, either the sky becomes strong enough, you can get some strong storms and even some thunder can happen. Now, we have a cool experiment for you that you can do with the kiddos. Now this happens, you need uh, quite a few things for it. You need something that is going to be safe if fire touches it. I recommend tin foil or a baking pan for you. You will also need a tea bag, a lighter or a match, and I would recommend some scissors. And of course, make sure that you have adult supervision with you have those kiddos around. So what you're gonna do is make sure that you have your tin foil or your baking pan that is set up nicely. Try to make it as flat as you can because we need this to be a solid base. Now, you're also going to cut the top of that tea bag off and we're gonna get rid of the actual tea grounds itself. Bonus points if you can make tea out of these, but what we need is the bag. That bag is going to act as an air parcel, which is what we see heating up and then going up into the atmosphere during a thunderstorm. Once you get rid of the tea, you're gonna to try to stand this up in a cylinder-like formation, which can be, in my opinion, one of the harder parts of it, just to get this thing to stand up. So try to undo the folds the best you can, and then you are going to set it so it stands up kind of like a cylinder. There you go. And what we're gonna do from there is we are going to take our lighter or our match and we are going to light the top of it. Now, once again, make sure that you are doing this in a safe environment. I would recommend doing it in a parking lot. I've also done it in a bathtub. Those are uh, safe environments to do this because this is going to fly up into the sky with convection and it's gonna make it pretty high. Also make sure that you have a parent or guardian if you're gonna do this in your kiddo. Now, we didn't do it inside here in our CBS 19 studio. We had to do it outside for safety reasons, but take a look, it was pretty cool. is so cool. That all happened because of the heat difference between that tea bag and the hot air that's continuing to rise and then the cooler air around it that was just the air in the atmosphere. And that thing went pretty high. It went way above my head and it went at least as high as our CBS 19 studio. You can see it right there in the top left hand corner of your screen. And that's all due to convection. Now we hope that you guys can try this experiment at home. If you do end up doing it, let us know if you like it and of course send us some pictures. Thanks so much for joining us for this Science with Sarah segment. If you have any questions about weather, science, or just cool physics things that you see in our world, let us know. You can send them to my email. That's S as in Sarah, and then blue, just like the color, at cbs19.tv. Thanks so much for joining us, and stay curious.